From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Omnia Group company BME is bolstering its sustainability initiative of incorporating used oil into its emulsion explosives. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. With decades of successful blasting operations, BME has become the leading consumer of used oil in the explosive sector. This harmful waste product is used as a fuel agent in the company's high-quality emulsions, ensuring that it is safely disposed of during the blasting process. BME used oil manager Sashin Govinder expands on this initiative as well as the problems it aims to solve. The used oil initiative for BME for me is part of the solution that we offer to our customers. And I think before we understand the solution, it's important to actually understand the problems that we are trying to solve for our customers. If you look at the used oil initiative, there are four main problems that, that's really being touched by this initiative. First and foremost, South Africa is a water scarce country. Above that, we are a growing population. And when you look at those two factors and, and the impact it has on our water resources and our agricultural resources, being polluted or being contaminated by the used oil will have a, a great impact on that. There is a study in where it says that one liter of used oil can contaminate up to a million liters of water. So you can think the pressure that that would add to our already uh, depleting water, water sources. The second issue, which I think for me is the more complex issue, is that this waste is generated everywhere and by anyone and anybody. So if you take for an example an individual in his home that's doing an oil change in his vehicle where he generates probably a litre or two of oil, right up to a mine that generates close to 100,000 litres a month of this waste. The, the, the real task is to actually reach these places in smaller and larger volumes to be able to ensure that it does not contaminate our resources, as I mentioned from the water perspective. The third issue is the actual disposal of the waste. So you could collect it, but what are we doing with it? How do we ensure that it does not reach our resources? And this is where BME comes in as a, as a waste processor. Um, and furthermore, we use it in our blast. So it is probably the best way to actually dispose of this waste oil. The fourth perspective, and, and I think it's important to touch on the social aspect, is that we know the high unemployment rate in South Africa and the social uh, upliftment that needs in local host communities. So we have used this initiative together to provide a solution where we work with many micro to small businesses um, purely across the country and this creates uh, employment opportunities as well as awareness in the local communities. So I think the solution that we have really touches those four points um, in, into one organized package. The source of used oil can occur from anywhere, from, from this lab that we are sitting in right to a, to a big mine. And, um, and the main areas that we source our, our oil is from the mining industry. And second to that is the automotive industry at, at large. Um, uh, what's really special about the, our sourcing techniques is that we are able to source this oil from all corners of the country um, in all types of volumes. BME Production and Logistics GM Dirk Foot outlines when this initiative began the rationale behind BME pursuing this and how this is being bolstered. That first happened um, quite a few years ago in the, in the late 80s, um, you know, when the te technology was brought to South Africa. Um, it was with this thought of, you know, here's a, a carbon source that's, that's not freshly mined, it is recycled product, it is um, a product that nobody else wants. And there's also, I mean, there's a lot of um, risk for environmental damage you know, in, in, in used oil being generated. And we thought, as we need a source of carbon for our product to work, and we thought that would be a, quite an, a good way, you know, to try and incorporate that as a fuel source into our formulations. And we started off very small, very localized, where we would, um, you know, help a specific mine that had a, a used oil problem or a scenario or generated a lot of used oil and um, thought we could incorporate that into our formulation and in such a way create a, a sustainable offset uh, you know, mechanism for that waste being generated. Especially of late, there's been a lot of interest in the market. You know, it's, and I guess it's where the whole community is moving in terms of trying to be better and, uh, and trying to create less uh, you know, stress and harm on, on the environment. And um, you, can, you can see, and it was even at the mining in Darbar recently, you know, there's a big theme around how can uh, us and, and our clients, how can we do things better and a less environmentally damaging uh, perspective. I think even uh, our president made a note to that 
of late to say that you know mines should do more you know to try and be have less of an impact on the environment if you look at where used oil is being generated it's not only in very specific industries you know everywhere where there's a transportation or logistics leg you know um, used oil is being generated in various quantities and and thus i mean if you look at even now in south africa not 100 percent of all the used oil that's that's generated out there in the industry actually finds its way back into let's say safe hands um, a lot of it the disposal of is unknown we're not certain where it ends up and for what purpose it's being used so so yeah there's huge potential um, you know, for us as an industry and for even for BME ourselves to actually expand and use more used oil in our formulations. What we're doing from our perspective, of course, is to create awareness wherever we go with, with our clients and potential clients. You know that this is a service and part of our, part of our business in terms of how we can assist them. Um, because all mining operations generate um, used oil. On the other hand, what we're doing is, and I mentioned it earlier, you know, where we started off with a very small portion, um, you know, of our formulations containing used oil. And we've been expanding that over the years as we've developed our, our technology. And it's ultimately our goal that, that one day we will reach a point where we don't need to use any, um, let's say, newly sourced oil in our formulations and convert to 100% um, waste source for all our carbon that we need in our formulations. Avinda expands on some of the benefits that this initiative engenders for both BME and customers. So some of the benefits that BME would, would get from this initiative, firstly from a decarbonization perspective, we are using this used oil as opposed to uh, a fossil fuel like diesel. So, so, so this, this helps the system in that, uh, in that we are reducing the use or avoidance of a, of a fossil fuel. Uh, secondly, there, there can be some economic value which is really uh, in proportion if we look at the industry in general that's really spread out to our customers to our networks and and of course the avoidance of using diesel from a customer perspective um, you know there are issues that that that's really important to the stakeholders of our customers uh, from the investors to the employees to the customers customer and some of these issues are environmental social and governance so that actually talks to a mega trend in, in the industry today which is the ESG framework. Without repeating in terms of the, the, the challenges that we are working on, what I think the real benefit to the customer is that over and above our blasting solutions, BME has packaged these four problems that are mentioned and we've packaged it into one solution that we can partner with our customers and as we collectively try to work our way through these ESG frameworks. It's a packaged uh, opportunity that, that we mentioned with our customers in, in which we are directly uh, making a significant uh, impact in terms of the environmental, social and governance objectives that our organization may have um, and, and also the social communities at large. Fucht expands on the environmental and safety features of this initiative. Used oil itself is a pollutant and can pollute our, our water sources and our environment. From a safety perspective too, I guess it's not something that you want lying around and the community and people to, to come into contact with. But another context of SAFE is where if you use uh, used oil and explosives, I mean we make explosives after all. So the products that we make, we see as safety critical. It is product that is used at the end of the day uh, in mining and construction. It's an energetic substance. And from that perspective, what is important to us and to our clients is that the behavior of the product should be very predictable. And from that perspective, you know, it's quite important to make sure that um, you know, a raw material, important raw material coming into your facilities is of such a consistent nature and your process is of such a nature that you can have a consistent output um, to sell onto your clients. Govinda also touches on the Rose Foundation and the significance of the company's participation in this. The Rose Foundation really plays an important role um, as, as a central body to, to this. In, in the name, Recycling Oil Saves the Environment, uh, they offer two really important benefits. Firstly, they really help in terms of spreading the awareness of the waste and what can be done with it and how it can save the environment. Secondly, and very, very importantly, especially in our networks, the Rose Foundation is there to support uh, these independent businesses that, that, are, that have come up in the country uh, in terms of funding, in terms of training, uh, and in terms of awareness. So, so it really is a privilege to be partnered with the Rose Foundation on this journey. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Reports. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. 
And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.